We've been here so many times, and you still stand in awe at the size of this place. We're at AT&T Stadium. Welcome to Arlington, Texas. Ball is teed up. Chris Boswell to do the honors. And off we go from Dallas. And he gets across the 30 before he's brought down. All right, let's get this show on the road. It is first and 10. First play is to the air. That'll be complete to Elliott. And he's going to get this up to the 45 before he's brought down. Big gain, 14 on the play. And that's good for a Cowboys first down. <laughs> that is what elite offenses are all about. Why worry about three downs when you need only one? Move the chains in one play and keep driving that defense backwards. They'll run here on first down. And the plunge up the gut yields nothing there. No gain there that time, and it's second and ten. As that linebacker makes that tackle right in the middle of the field, all I'm thinking about right now, Kate's training camp. <laughs> Because that's the middle drill right there. That is textbook. What you do in training camp, coming to life when it matters. Second and ten now. Got Lamb, and it's complete. And he gets it past the 50 and down to the Steelers' side of the field. Short yardage situation here. It's third and two. They'll try and pick this up on the ground. And he's dropped just short of the marker, maybe a yard away. That's one of those plays, Kate, as an offense. It just sticks with you a little bit. It bothers you that you just can't convert on a very manageable down and distance. And on the other side, well, sure gives you some confidence defensively to get off the field. Cowboys putting it away here on fourth, and it's the longtime vet Brian Anger on now. Kick is away, and this one might bring rain. Wow, what a kick. They'll get this drive started. First and ten. Wilson to throw it. That one is caught the left side of the field. And he'll go down after pushing this up to the 29. It's a 24-yard gash, and it gives them the first down. You know what I like about that, Kate? I like that they're not coming out slow. They're willing to go with some looks here that will yield big yardage down the field instead of just settling for dinking and dunking the ball. On first down, they'll run. And this one gets to the 33-yard line before it's stopped. It's a four-yard pickup, and that's going to bring up second and six. You know, these are the kind of runs, Kate, that a balanced game plan and a balanced offense is built on. It gets you good yardage, it sets up your play action, and it keeps that defense honest. Second and six now. Pushes him back, third down coming up. All right, first sack on the board on the first drive as a defense. And now, well, now we let the chess match begin. The adjustments begin because we know pressure leads to sacks. And sacks in this league often leads to wins. Here he is on third and long. Taken in by Harris. And he'll get it up to the 27. It's plays like that, Kate, right wrong. Well, I sit and judge defense. I judge the awareness. I judge how well that coordinator's got him equipped to see what's going on in the field. And not just see it, but attack it. And they devoured that screen game on third down. On fourth down, the Steelers are going to turn to Cameron Johnston to punt this away. He sends this away, and oh, this is going to be a field flipper. Fair catch the signal, and he brings it in at the 23. No return on that punt. And that is where they'll start the next drive. They're out and set, first and 10. And he 
East tackle for a short game. Three yards on the first down play, and that brings up second and seven. I can promise you that's not what it looked like on the practice field nor on the whiteboard. Typically, QB run is going to net you a whole lot more yardage than that, but let's give some credit. Strong effort by that defensive front who contained a play that typically goes for a whole lot more. Through one quarter, neither side breaking through on the scoreboard. Couple of zeros on the board right now. Back to AT&T Stadium in just a moment. Second quarter all set to begin, and it'll be Cowboys football. They've got second and seven to start. Elliott straight ahead. And once again, he doesn't manage much before getting brought down. He musters up three yards on the run. That sets up third and four. You know, not a ton of yards, but still showing that commitment to the ground game. The type of run that keeps the defense from loading up in coverage and focusing entirely on that passing game. Third down from the gun. Complete beyond the marker. And he'll pick up enough to move the chains. You're not going to last long in the National Football League if you don't convert a good chunk of your third downs. Nice find there to continue the series. First down now, ball at the 39-yard line. Prescott to throw. No hesitation, and that one's caught. And he's going to get this up to the 45 before he's brought down. That is the epitome of staying on schedule. That kind of completion right there on first down. Well, it opens up the entirety of the playbook for second down. And the third and short in your back pocket, you can get even more aggressive and take that shot. They'll run now on second down. And he's going to get stopped right around the 45-yard line. They come through with a nice gain there. Gain of 10, first down. Ooh, I like that. I really like that execution to move the chains. Now that third down call that they had ready, well, they could stick it right back in their pocket for a later occasion. Ball on the 45, first and 10. Back now, pressure on its way. Catch made by Cooks. And they make the stop as that play reaches the 14-yard line. Give him 30 yards on that one. And it'll be first down, Dallas. Prescott set to pass. He brings it in. And he drives this down to the eight before going out. I know I could sound like a broken record when I talk about timing and getting the ball out on time and on rhythm, but these outcuts, it is so imperative, and the best of them make it look oh so easy. Second and three now. Shotgun snap, they're gonna throw. It's caught. And he goes down, so they're set up with a nice first and goal as we've reached our two-minute warning. That's just great instincts. Go air it out on second down rather than just play conservative and run it. They hit a weak point in the coverage and don't need to worry about third down at all. They'll break the huddle and come up on first and goal. They'll try and punch it in. And he's still looking for the play that sparks the ground game as that one stopped for a loss. Kate, I'll never forget walking into the Hall of Famer Dwight Freeney's meeting room with those defensive linemen. The late, great John Tierlink, his coach, he had a little sign up in his, in his office, and it was sacks, and that money sign was the S, because ends and D linemen make their money with sacks. But you win games when they stop them. And he will score. Touchdown, Dallas! The Cowboys get some late points and the lead. Well, they definitely wanted to get that one out quick, Brock. They did just that, and it ends in six. We hear it all the time, but it is so true, Kate. This is a game about matchups, and when you see a throw that quick, it really was determined pre-snap. It was great design and tremendous execution. 
That one right down the middle. And they add one on to their first touchdown of the contest. Aubrey now to kick this one away. This one's fielded at the 40-yard line. And this drive will start inside the 25. Well, we've already seen some nice plays here, and we're going to see plenty more before this game ends. But you might be thinking, with plays like that, my guy's ratings should be better. Well, you're not alone. you got a chance to let the Madden ratings hotline know just what you're thinking. Give them a call. 1-844-MADDEN-1 and make your case for who should get a boost. Rifles it, and it's caught. And they're going to bring him down just beyond the 30 at the 31. The Steelers calling their first time out. They'll have two left to work with before halftime. Second and three now. From the 31. Splits a couple of defenders and completes it. And he's tackled with the first down yardage. Throwing from the gun. He'll dump this one off to his running back complete. And this one does not go far. I call this quarterback's best friend. Some call it a safety valve. Some call it automatic. But it's sure nice as a quarterback when you've got a trusty running back over the middle of the field that you can depend on. Steelers working with a sense of urgency from the hurry up clock continuing to run. To the left sideline, complete. It's a 21-yard gain. And that's a Steelers first down. I'm sure, Coach, a play caller doesn't mind making the job a little bit easier. You know, play calling's a lot simpler and easier when you count on the offense to move the chains on those early downs. First and 10 from the 41. Wilson now. Got a man over the middle, complete. And he'll get this down to the 33-yard line. Here comes Chris Boswell in the Steelers' field goal unit. This is a 50-yard look from the right half. And this kick is good. He needed to get all of it there, and he did. And it's dropped back down now to a four-point game. A lot of them may make it look automatic, but you get this deep, and those field goals are far from a certainty. It took all this concentration, every bit of his strength, to send that puppy through. Well, Brock Martin, a touchback. This kickoff should run out the half, so better make that return good as it's away. This one's fielded at the 40-yard line. And he'll have it up to about the 23-yard line on the play. So we've hit the end of two. The Cowboys fighting to the halftime lead here in Dallas. Now we'll head over to Orlando, Florida. Check in with Jonathan Coachman for the EA Sports Halftime Report. This one's fielded at the 40-yard line. And a decent return ends as they bring him down inside the 30. We'll see the Steeler offense first this half as they're headed out now. They'll try to get that ground game established better than they did in the opening half, Brock. See if they can attack that deficit. Drive starts out with a first and 10. Out of the shotgun, they'll give it to him inside. And they love to see him fighting forward, but he only gets him three. 
Got to be rush hour, Kate, because there's a whole lot of traffic up the middle right there. He ran right into some gridlock, and he could only manage a few yards at most. Second down now, seven to go. Harris once more. And this one's brought to a halt at about the 36-yard line. He got five, and now it's going to be third down and three. That run's not going to turn many heads, but at the end of the year, I promise you, if you average over five yards a run, you can be a pro bowler. All plays on the table here for third and three. Shotgun snap, looking to throw. Quick hitter complete. And they're going to bring him down just on the other side of midfield. 16 yards on the play. And he'll bring up a Pittsburgh first down. I think my favorite part was the magic he worked after the catch. The way he took the completion and made so much more out of it by adding all the extra yardage. A handoff for Harris running right. And he's able to work this down to the 41. Call it seven yards, and now they'll have second down and three. So much to like about that run, Kate, particularly what he was able to get out of it. The defense, I think, feels a little fortunate they were able to track him down before an even bigger run and crossing that first down marker. Handoff on second and short. And he'll pick up enough to move the chains. Well, looky here. You don't even have to worry now about a third down call as that run moves the sticks. Now that call you had ready, though, you can recycle it. Save it for later for that next third down coming. Markers reset. Ball at the 37. Here's Wilson. Into the hands of Jefferson. Complete. And they make the stop as that play reaches the 14-yard line. A big play, 23 yards to move those chains. You know, Kate, you'll find teams go to this crossing route concept sometimes a dozen times a game. A lot of times it's for shorter yardage, but sometimes things break in the right coverage for a much bigger impact play, just like that. Running left is Harris. And he gets into the end zone. Touchdown, Pittsburgh. The Steelers take the lead right away in half number two. Najee Harris, the touchdown. Well, Brock, he found himself some space to work, and from there, wow, all athleticism as he made his way into the end zone. You got that right, Kate. Just that speed. You got to have some different gear when you get down here to the red zone. It's hard to score rushing touchdowns, and that running back sees the open space. He sees the green grass, and he finishes it off with six. Send this away. Short kick here, fielded at the 17. And it's a nice return here. They'll tackle him shy of the 35. The Cowboys offense headed out there. They find themselves trailing after the opening drive touchdown. And heck, it really set up to be an entertaining second half if they're able to answer here. Here's first and 10 from the 34. Prescott will look to throw. That finds Elliott complete. And the defense is all over this one for a big loss. When there's heat, that blitz coming off the snap, that QB's eyes, you could see it right away. He got to his check down in a hurry. But, Kate, here's the key. Quarterback and running back have to be on the same page. The two were right there, and it netted some positive yards. Second and 13. Won't be caught outright. It's incomplete. No luck finding his receiver that time. And things look tougher now with third and long. And this is why scouts talk about a player's closing speed, Kate. You know, once he senses the pressure, he's getting rid of that ball. It takes a player who can close quickly to get to him before it's released. And that sure altered the throw. 
He's on the move. He's running for it. And he'll go down after fighting his way into the 32. Just not much to do right there, whether he wanted to run it or throw it. Even if he scraped a positive gain out of it, that's still a win for this defense. Dallas sends its punting unit onto the field. And this will be his second effort of the contest. And this one is crushed. Wow, beautiful punt here. That is going to go for 60-plus. Pittsburgh getting its offense all set to go. And I think they'd be content doing everything the same as their prior drive and getting another touchdown here. Chance here for one final play before the end of the quarter. Now an inside handoff to Harris. And he's got a chunk of yards as we've reached the end of three. So we're through three here. It's the Steelers with the ball. They're leading, but not by a lot. After a good pickup, they're set up with second and short. From the 28. That throw finds Pickens. And he's going to bring it up to the 40-yard line before he stopped. A nice gain of 13 yards as it brings up a first down. Well, that is pretty darn impeccable timing between the two. They hit a curl route of that length. It takes great anticipation and precision by the quarterback and the receiver on the other end finishing it, doing his job. Out of the gun. They'll give it to him inside. And he goes down after a small gain across the 40 to the 42. Two on the pickup there, and it's going to be second and eight. Give left side. Here's Harris. And he'll be brought down a step or two shy in midfield. They're going to mark him at the 48. He got five, and now it's going to be third down and three. Fans love the long ball in baseball. It's like they got the home run derby, but you know what? Talk to managers, and they will tell you small ball can win, too. Singles and doubles, you add them up, you can win a lot of baseball games. Football coaches will tell you, you get runs of that length, it may not be a home run. It may not score points, but it can do some serious damage. And he's tackled with the first down yardage. And that play goes for eight yards, and it keeps this drive moving. They will tackle on the other side of this two-minute warning. the two-minute warning. Final timeout taken by the Cowboys. That's all they had, so the offense free to start running the clock down now. Second down now, seven to go.
They give it to him again. And it's barely anything on that run, and we've reached the two-minute warning. A couple yards on the run. It's third and six now. Is a 40-40 yard look from the right hash. And that one is good. A little longer, but no problem at all. And that'll double their lead to six. So after that make, a field goal won't cost them a lead, but a touchdown still ties it. Or likely, probably puts them down a point. Okay, this is one of those moments where the defense now has clarity. They know what the stakes are and what they have to defend. Now Boswell on to send this away. The return starts at the 18. Jukes one defender. And an excellent return here. Sets them up almost at midfield. Trailing by one score late here, Cade. Maybe this is the return. Maybe this is what helps them get right back into it. Good field position now to start their most important series yet of this game. The Cowboys have it in great field position as they come up to the line first and ten. Looking to throw it. And the Steelers get home. They drop him. And the big play drives them backwards. Second down coming up. We've learned how valuable sacks and a pass rush are in today's NFL. It's a bit surprising, isn't it, Kate, that that's their first sack of the game? But they found other ways to produce success on both sides of the ball. And they finally pick up a much-needed sack on that stat sheet. Ooh, incomplete there on second down, but boy, a risky throw on a check down of all things. Nearly picked off and headed the other way. Gosh, you could just almost feel his eyes up here, Kate, getting huge, right? He was envisioning the return, and he simply dropped it. Got to secure that pick before you think of anything else. Here he is to throw. Escapes the pocket. And he's going to be brought down at the 42. So the Steelers come in and take this on the road. And there was no easing off. It took some white knuckling until the very end, but their defense carried that small lead through to the finish line as they escape with the victory. So that's it for us here. Brock Heward, our crew, I'm Kate Scott. This has been the NFL on EA Sports. The Steelers are winners as we say so long from Dallas.